Good morning students. I hope you all are in good health. Today we will learn about a new topic that is input and output devices. As I know you all are very familiar with the word in and out. So we will learn about the word input. What do you mean by the term input in a computer? The things that is given to a machine to work on is called input. Let's take an example. If you want to make a mango steak, you need three things. Mango, sugar and milk into the mixture grinder. The three ingredients are called input. Now, what is output? The things which we get from machine after it works are known as output. Now, what is the output of the above example? The mango steak. Now, let's take few more examples of input and output. A plant takes in water and gives out gives flowers. Water is the input and flowers are the output. Taking in is called input. Giving out is called output. You clicked on a song icon using a mouse. This clicking is the input. The words, numbers, painting and everything that we see on the monitor is the output. What is processing? The action taken by machine to work on input and change it into output is called processing. Now, what do you mean by the term input devices? Input devices allow us to send information to the computer. There are different, different input devices. The main input devices of a computer are keyboards and mouse. Keyboard is used to input words, numbers and codes into the computer. The next one is mouse. Mouse is also known as input device and it is a pointing device. It is used to move the pointer on the screen. Now, the third one is touchpad. Touchpad is generally available in laptop computer. It also helps to move pointer and select. It is also used to input commands. Microphone. Microphone is also used to take sounds input and send it to a computer. Now, let's talk about output devices. Output devices allow us to receive information from the computer. The main output devices of a computer are monitor. The monitor is a display device. It displays the result on the screen as an output. Now, the second one is Printer. Printer is also known as output device. It prints the output on the paper. Speakers. Speakers are same as our music system. When the speakers are connected to the computer, we receive sounds as a output. Now, what do you mean by processing device? The device is CPU. CPU is known as processing device. The CPU is neither an input nor an output device. It takes the information given by the input devices, does the work and send the result to the output devices. This is called processing. That's why CPU is named as Central Processing Unit. The full form of CPU is Central Processing 
you need. Now, note down the activity and try to complete the activity. In the activity, what you have to do? You have to write I for input and O for output for each devices. Thank you.